following is a presentation of the Missouri Sports Network. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Live here on the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. A lot of great games going on right now, probably none better uh, than Seneca and Reed Spring. Right now in the fourth quarter, it's Seneca 49, Reed Spring uh, 49. We'll update you on that game throughout the show tonight. We're expected and hopefully to be joined by some coaches here as we go through this evening. But first, let's get to what we know we have you're listening to the Missouri Sports Network live from the Pizza Ranch studio. <clears throat> and certainly glad that you have tuned in. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. <clears throat> Presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks, Labor's Local 663, Building Missouri. Shelter Insurance. The Missouri State Highway Patrol, Great Southern Bank, Doak Propane, and the Bank of Billings established 1889, the oldest bank in Christian County. Just updating what we have at this time here on the Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks scoreboard. Friday night games and eight-man football finals that, ha- that we do have. Norburn defeats College Heights 52-46. to Tarkio over Mound City 60-6. to North Andrew 54 to 6 over Stanberry. Elsewhere was Albany 64 0 over St. Joe Christian. Central Bank of the Ozark, strong roots and endless possibilities brings you page one. Bowling Green 69, South Callaway 14. It was Gallatin 41, Milan 10. Monroe City shuts out Palmyra 50 to nothing. Penny 36, Lathrop, 7. It was Trenton over Polo, 24-6. Russellville defeats Crystal City, 36 to, I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, 38-36. to 36. Scott City shuts out Kelly, 42 to nothing. Pizza Ranch, Pizza Ranch Springfield, St. Joe, Independence, Maryville. We hope to hear from Maryville head coach here in just a few minutes, Matt Webb as they get a big win tonight over St. Joe Benton. Also with locations in Wentzville out in the St. Louis area, Springfield, Joplin, and Branson as well, and coming soon to Jeff City, Missouri. You can follow along on Twitter. You can also message me on Facebook. There's a little chat box, and it'll pop right up here on my page here at the Missouri Sports Network. So if you'd like to tune in and play along, just shoot me a text, chat. You can text me at 417-327-6914, or you can send scores or information to at Scoreboard Guy on Twitter or at Missouri underscore sports on Twitter. We'll make sure that we get those up. We'll be on the air till 11, so by then we should have most of the scores as we continue. It was Blair Oaks over Versailles. 65 to 6. Skyline defeats Clever 44 to 7. Sullivan over Herman 6 0. Lafayette County shuts out Holden 40 to nothing. It was Jefferson over Perryville 20 to 7. On page three, it was Roosevelt defeating DeBerg 52 to 36. Maryville 55 13 over Benton. Mexico over Fulton, 54-7. Nevada defeats Cassville, 62-7. Pleasant Hill over Oak Grove, 42-7. On page four, Grandview defeats Excelsior Springs, 31-20. Washington shuts out Fort Zumwalt East, 42-0. Holt defeats North Point, 52-0. It was St. Mary's, 49-10 over St. Dominic. Union defeats Warrington, 55-14. to Carthage over Ozark on page 6. Carthage defeats, o- I'm sorry, page 5. Carthage defeats Ozark, 49-7. to Springfield Central shuts out Lighthouse Christian, 35 to nothing. Eureka over Pattonville, 
to seven. On page six, CBC defeats Shattered Indiana, or Chattered Indiana, 55 to 24. Lee Summit West over Blue Spring South, 10 to seven. Lindbergh gets back in the win column. They improved to four and two as they defeat Rittenauer, 19 to 14. Rockhurst on top of St. Thomas Aquinas, 32 to 11, and DeSmet defeats SLU 30 to 27. Your Saturday games, Southeast will be at Kansas City Central. Father Tolton will be at Donovan. Francis Howe will be at Fort Zumwalt West. Lift for Life at Gateway. Clayton will be at Hazelwood East. Hazelwood Central will be at Hazelwood West. Parkway Central will be at McClure North. Lutheran North will be at MICDS. John Burroughs at Priory. Normandy will be at Riverview Gardens. Confluence Prep will be at Soldan. And Bayless will be at St. Vincent and Kabul at <coughs> Thayer. You can follow along here on Missouri Sports Network on Facebook. You can also follow along on Scoreboard Guy Twitter, Missouri Sports Network on Twitter, and both YouTube channels as well. <clears throat> we will continue here. We're going to take a quick time out and introduce you to our team sponsor, uh, Country, uh, Country Financial. So we will hear a few words from Country Financial and be back and update some of the scores that we have coming in. I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company, in a time like this, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. I learned that there's not a given in life. It takes a team. There's people that are going to watch out for us and that care. It's been pretty stressful once we uh, Saw Lori and got our plan, it's uh, a lot better now. It was uh, a like better. a huge weight lifted. Welcome back to Friday Night Live here. On the Missouri Sports Network, Guy Nukem, the scoreboard guy, alongside here for the next hour and a half, or a little bit longer than that, a little bit shorter than that, hour and 22 minutes. Here we do have some other finals to pass on, as it was Carthage defeating Ozark 49-7. to Seneca uh, now on top of Reed Springs 56-49. to That game late in the fourth quarter. Nixon defeats Carl Junction 56-8. to Lebanon shuts out Glendale 42 to nothing. Lamar over McDonald County, 52 to 14. Marionville defeats Pierce City, 62 to 21. Webb City over Willard, 49 to 28. Joplin defeats Republic, 42 to 28. Camptonton over Bolivar, 56 to 14. Nevada shuts, or I didn't shut out, but they defeat Cassville, 62 to 7. Cole Camp over Crestridge, 55 to 32. Liberty Mountain View. Over Mountain Grove, 27 to 13. That was a big game in the area. Liberty Mountain View, number nine in Class Two, and again, Class Two is loaded here. Kickapoo right now is leading the 10th ranked West Plains Zizzers, 21 to six. That game also in the fourth quarter. Other finals: Neosho defeats Branson, 50 to 31. Waynesville over Hillcrest, 48 to six. Rolla defeats Parkview, 49 to nothing. Marshfield. Over Aurora, 54 to 14. Mount Vernon, late in the fourth, leads Catholic, 42 to 7. Rogersville, also on top of Hollister, 21 to 7 in the fourth quarter. Monette, leading East Newton, 28 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Houston defeats Ava, 12 to 6. That game has gone final. At last report, Diamond was on top of Forsyth, 33 to 21. Strafford, late in the fourth quarter, leads Fair Grove, 38 to 18. And Butler and Buffalo have gone to overtime, tied at 44. Warsaw 
defeats El Dorado Springs 40 to 6. Willow Springs over Salem 61 to 13. That game late in the game, late in the fourth. At last report, Sarkoxy was leading Miller 42 to 8. Jasper has defeated Greenfield 50 to 22. Norburn over College Heights Christian 52 to 46. And Lockwood defeats Liberal 51 to 14. Checking other scores just in the area. I'm sorry, in the state. Gonna get out of that habit. Seneca has the ball at the Reed Springs 6 with 207 remaining in the game, and Seneca on top 56 to 49. And Cape hangs on to defeat uh, Farmington uh, 35 to 32. Houston, that game has gone final 12 6. Houston defeats Ava. <clears throat> Final, Rogersville with a bunch of late points. They defeat Hollister 35 to 13. Valley Catholic now leading with four minutes remaining in the game. Valley Catholic leads Cape Central 34 to 30. I think those are the scores that we have. At this time, well, Kickapoo, it has gone final. Kickfu, Kickapoo defeats West Plains 21-6. to six. And that was homecoming for Kickapoo. So 21-6, to six, that game has gone final. Once again, you can text me at 417-327-6914. You can shoot a direct message or a tweet at scoreboardguy or Missouri underscore sport. We'll check you check horses here to see if we can find scores. Russellville. This has gone final. Russellville defeats Crystal City 38 to 36. South Shelby defeats Highland 52 to 12. Centralia over Clark County 28 to 18. Those are all finals. See here. We got Let's see. Yeah, we're trying to find that Bashan written hour score. Let's see if we can pull this up here. And we'll try and get that to you as soon as we can. Has gone, oh, that was Lindbergh in Rittenauer. So Lindbergh, that has gone final. Lindbergh defeats Rittenauer. And we've read that 19, 19 to 14. So that game has indeed gone final. You're listening to and maybe watching Friday Night Live here on the Missouri Sports Network. as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, smart, and be here tomorrow. We're checking uh, some of our other sources here for scores, and we'll, we'll, we will run back and uh, see if we can find some scores here. Shamana, I'm sorry, CBC defeats Indianapolis Chittard. Uh, 55 to 24 to Smet over Swins. Falls to Fort Zumal South 31 to 14. Herculaneum shuts out Grandview 46 to nothing. Highland shuts out Civic Memorial 65 to nothing. And Francis Howe 91 over Francis Howe Troll. Jefferson defeats Perryville, seven. Troy Buchanan. Knocks off Timberland, 40. Is at Duchesne, and Jennings leads 54 to nothing at this point. That game has not gone final. Over Polo, 24 to six. 
Webster Rose is at Melville, and at this time they lead 29 to nothing. That game has not gone final. Warrant. That game has gone final 42 to 6 for Union. And Colonel Ritter shuts out Borgia 59 to nothing in that contest. Vashon defeats Zumwalt North. Well, that game is on finals 32 to 16. That game is still in progress. That's a third quarter score there. Elsewhere, Mid Buchanan defeats North Platte 40 to 28. Gap over Milan 41 to Washington defeats Fort Zuma. St. Mary's over St. Domain to 10. We will keep checking here. As I mentioned, you can send scores to at scoreboard guy or at Missouri underscore sports. Checking what's come in here. Final Stratford defeats Fair Grove 45 to 18. 140 remaining in the fourth. Valley Catholic leads Cape Central 40 to 30. Sarcoxy has gone final. Sarcoxy defeats Miller 56 to 14. All right, well, we will take another break here. It's 947. 947 here in Missouri, and we will be back after these messages. Pizza Ranch serves buffet your way. Don't you mean my way, Mr. Voiceover Guy? Uh, sure, anyone's way, actually. Request your favorite pizza. We'll make it, bake it, and give you the first slice. I can add peppers to pepperoni, stampede on stuffed crust, maybe Texan taco on thin. No tomatoes on my half. How can I convince Mom to let us eat here every night? It's buffet your way at Pizza Ranch. Say it with me, kid. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network. For those of you just tuning in, we'll run through the scores here one more time as we refresh the page. And wherever you may be tuning in from, if it's your vehicle, hey, make sure everyone's buckled up. Take that three seconds and buckle up. Three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. Our Chevy dealers of the Ozarks. Week 6 high school football scoreboard presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks, Dope Propane, Great Southern Bank, Labor's Union 663, the Bank of Billings, and live from the Pizza Ranch studio. In eight-man football, Norburn over College Heights 52-46. Tarkio defeats Mound City 60-6. North Andrew over Stanbury 54-6. North Shelby defeats Keatsville 78-12. Albany over St. Joe Christian, 64 to nothing. On page one, Bowling Green over South Callaway, 69 to 14. Brentwood defeats Principia, 8 to 7. Cole Camp over Crestridge, 55 to 32. Duchesne defeats Jennings, 54 to nothing. It was Gallatin over Milan, 41 to 10. Monroe City defeats Palmyra, 50 to nothing. Ed Buchanan. Over North Platte, 48 to 28. Penny defeats Lathrop, 36 to 7. Trenton over Polo, 24 to 6. Putnam County over South Harrison, 55 to 14. Russellville defeats Crystal City, 38 to 36. Marceline over Salisbury, 36 to 32. Scott City defeats Kelly, 42 to nothing. On page two, Houston over Ava, 12 to 6. Blair Oaks defeats Versailles, 65 to 6. Centralia over Scott or Clark County, 28 to 18. Skyline defeats Clever, 44 to 7. Sullivan over Herman, 6 nothing. Lafayette County over Holden, 40 to nothing. 
Jefferson defeats Perryville 20 to 7. It was Roosevelt over to Berg 52 to 36. Maryville defeats Benton 55 to 13. Mexico over Fulton 54 to 7. Nevada defeats Cassville 62 to 7. It was Pleasant Hill over Oak Grove 42 to 7. Elsewhere, Camdenton here on page four defeats Bolivar 56 to 14. Grandview over Excelsior Springs 31 to 20. Washington defeats Fort Zumwalt East 45 0. Center over Harrisonville 55 to 21. Kickapoo defeats West Plains 21 to 6. Holt over North Point 52 to nothing. St. Mary's defeats St. Dominic 49 to 10. Union over Warrington. 55 to 14. Carthage defeats Ozark 49 to 7. Springfield Central over Lighthouse Christian 35 to nothing. Melville defeats Webster Groves 29 to nothing. Eureka over Pattonville 34 to 7. CBC defeats Chattered Indiana 55 to 24. I think I've pronounced that three different ways. Lee Summit West over Blue Spring South 10 7. Lindbergh defeats Rittenauer 19 to 14. Rockhurst over St. Thomas Aquinas 32 to 11. DeSmet defeats Slew 37 to 20. Saturday games: the Southeast at Central Kansas City. Father Tolton is at Donovan. Francis Howell is at Fort Zumwalt West. Live for Life is at Gateway. Clayton is at Hazelwood East. Hazelwood Central is at Hazelwood West. Parkway Central is at McClure North. Lutheran North is at MICDS. John Burroughs is at Priory. Normandy is at Riverview Gardens. Confluence Prep is at Soldan. Bayless is at St. Vincent. Kabul is at Thayer. All those games are on Saturday. Excuse me. Had to sneeze there for a second. And I did. Once again, you can chat, send chats right here to us on uh, YouTube, Twitter, um, right here on the chat wall on the screen. And we will be able to see them right off here. Get out of this page. Here, other finals, as we refresh some pages here, most games are... If not gone final, they're about to go final. Except you've got Buffalo and Butler that was in overtime at that last report. Carthage over Seneca, 49 to 7. I'm sorry, Carthage over Ozark, 49 to 7. Seneca defeats Reed Springs, 63 to 49. The game was tied at 49 with four minutes to go, or five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Seneca gets two touchdowns. Knicks over Carl Junction. 56 to 8. Lebanon shuts out Glendale, 42 to nothing. Lamar over McDonald County, 54 to 14. Marionville defeats Pierce City, 62 to 21. It was Webb City over Willard, 49 to 28. Joplin defeats Republic, 42 to 28. Camdenton over Bolivar, 56 to 14. Lincoln shuts out Slater, 46 to nothing. Nevada. Handles Cassville 62 to 7. It was Cole Camp over Crestridge 55 to 32. Mount View Liberty defeats Mountain Grove 27, 27 to 13. Kickapoo defeats West Plains 21 to 6. Yosho over Branson 50 to 31. Waynesville defeats Hillcrest 48 to nothing, 48 to 6. Rolla Beats Parkview 49 to nothing. Marshfield over Aurora 54 to 14. Mount Vernon at last report 42 to 7 over Catholic in the fourth quarter. Rogersville defeats Hollister 35 to 13. Monette over East Newton 28 to 14. Houston defeats Ava 12 to 6. Diamond over Forsyth 33 to 21. Stratford defeats Air or Fairgrove. 45 to 18, Central over Lighthouse Christian, 35 to nothing. Butler and Warsaw, 40, tied at 44 in overtime. Butler and Buffalo, I'm sorry. 
Warsaw defeats El Dorado Springs 40 to 6. Willow Springs defeats Salem 69 to 33. It was Sarcoxy 56, Miller 14, Jasper over Greenfield 50 to 22. Appleton City defeats Osceola 56 to 12. Norburn over College Heights Christian 52 to 46. Lockwood defeats Liberal 51 to 14. Checking some other scores are in the St. Louis area. Here's we refresh this page. And we will refresh it. You're listening to the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com. First Lou, 37 to 20. Lindbergh defeats Rittenauer, 19 to 14. CBC over Indianapolis Chatard. Battered, 24. South Harrison falls to Putnam County, 55 to 14. Sullivan shuts out nothing. Mexico defeats Fulton 54 to 7. Orchard Farm Yeah, Orchard Farm oh, Excuse me, I'm trying to do two for two different things here. Orchard Farm 7 0 over St. Charles West. And that was that was from the first quarter. Lebanon shuts out Glendale. Seckman beats Parkway South 50 to 6. I was watching a little bit of that game. And a young man from Seckman, I do not know um, his name, um, took a vicious shot on her. Uh, where he was going down and got blindsided, and they had to ambulance him out of the uh, facility there. So we are certainly hoping and praying for the best there. St. Pius defeats Cuba, Fix. Scoping here at the same time that we're – the camera's off. Beats Wentzville, thirty-one to fourteen. Out, six to nothing. It was Highland over Civic Memorial, sixty-five to nothing. And in the fourth quarter, North leads Francis South Central, one Marquette over Kirkwood, twenty to seventeen has gone final. Troy Buchanan over forty-four to twelve. That all. Also a final. Innings at Duchesne, 54 to nothing was the score there. Do not know who that was a halftime score. So Frederick Town defeats DeSoto 21 to 14. Trenton over Polo 24 to 6. Melville shuts out Webster Groves 29 to nothing. Little Kansas side, Bishop Miege defeats Blue Valley 40 to nothing. And it has gone final as Rockbridge defeats Lutheran St. Charles 42 to 13. Um, checking out some others. Cardinal Ritter shuts out Borgia 59 to nothing. Cardinal Ritter's loaded. They're going to be a handful when it gets to well, and that's where we stand right now. We will uh, take a quick second here. We'll play commercial from Fairhaven. The cottages at Fairhaven. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to uh, tell you what, just watch the commercial and then give them a call and go down and, and spend the weekend. It's a great place. Welcome to the Cottages at Fairhaven Cove. 
This resort spans 12 acres on a quiet cove on Table Rock Lake. You will feel right at home in one of the newly renovated cottages. Options include studio, one bedroom, and two bedroom units. These units have been beautifully redone from floor to ceiling and offer both comfort and style. Each cottage has a fully functional kitchen, deck, or balcony with incredible lake view and outdoor entertainment area complete with a grill. Whether a couple or family, the perfect space awaits you. RV parking at Fairhaven Cove is now available to all guests as well. This is an ideal spot for weekend getaway or family reunions. Four full hookup RV parking sites are offered. Each site is complete with a picnic table, grill, Wi-Fi, and digital TV upon request. All guests have access to the numerous amenities that Fairhaven Cove offers. Two boat docks are available for use. You can take a dip in the lake, fish, or house your boat. Cape Fair, Missouri is not only a great location for boating and water sports, but is also known as the bass capital of the world. The calm waters of the cove is the perfect place to have your next adventure. The resort offers kayak and paddleboard rentals to guests. Life vests are always included. There is a playground for kids to enjoy and hiking trails to explore. An in-ground pool is sure to make a splash with guests of all ages. And what better way to end the day than around a fire? A large fire pit is available for s'mores, fun, and memories. These amenities and more will be sure to entertain you and your family. The Cottages of Fairhaven is on the quiet side of the lake, near Cape Fair Marina and Flat Creek Restaurant. A short drive will take you to Silver Dollar City, Branson Landing, the show boat Branson Bell, abundant shopping, shows, museums, and some of the best golf in the Midwest. Reach out to your host today to book your next vacation. Hey, what? The Missouri Sports Network here. Friday Night Live, 32 minutes into the show. If you'd like to be a part of it, you can send us a chat through YouTube, Twitter, and jump on in with us. It's a lot of fun. Got about an hour left here in the show. Uh, would greatly appreciate if you guys want to jump in or if you've got scores that we don't have, uh, just send them to us at Scoreboard Guy on Twitter or at Missouri Sports underscore or at Missouri underscore sports on Twitter as well. Let's run through the scores here uh, very quickly that we have at this time. In eight-man football here on page one, it was Norburn over College Heights, 52-46. to 46. It was Jasper defeating Greenfield, 50-22. to 22. Tarkio over Mound City, 60-6. to 6. Nottaway Holt over DeKalb, 72-34. North Andrew defeats Stanberry, 54-6. These are eight-man scores, all from tonight. North Shelby over Keatsville, 78-12. Northland Christian over Veritas Christian out of Kansas, 60 to 20. Albany over St. Joe Christian, 64 to nothing. Central Bank of the Ozark, Strong Roots and Endless Possibilities brings you page two. Bowling Green over South Callaway, 69 to 14. Brentwood over Principia, 8 to 7. Old Camp defeats Crestridge, 55 to 32. Duchesne over Jennings, 54 to nothing. Elsewhere, Lawson defeats Plattsburgh, 47 to 6. Macon over Brookfield, 53 to 20. Mark Twain defeats Louisiana, 38 to 14. Gallatin over Milan, 41 to 10. Monroe City defeats Palmyra, 15 to nothing. Mid Buchanan over North Platte, 48 to 28. Penny defeats Lathrop. 36 to 7. Trenton over Polo, 24 to 6. Elsewhere, it was Putnam County over South Harrison, 55 to 14. Russellville defeats Crystal City, 36 to 38. Marceline over Salisbury, 
36 to 32. Scott City defeats Kelly 42 to nothing. Here on our Pizza Ranch page three, Pizza Ranch locations in Springfield hosting the quarterback club every day, I'm sorry, every Monday at 11.30. Here coaches from the Springfield area and surrounding schools talk about their schools, their teams, and their players. Also here on occasion from Missouri State University and usually every Monday, Coach Chuck Heppola from Evangel University comes up and he uh, is a joy to listen to. Here on page three was Houston over Ava, 12 to 6. Blair Oaks defeats Versailles, 65 to 6. Boonville over California, 28 to 12. Centralia uh, defeats Clark County, 28 to 18. Uh, I'm sorry, Centralia over Clark County, 28 to 18. Skyline defeats Clever, 44 to 7. Sullivan shuts out Herman, 6 0. Lafayette County shuts out Rogersville. I'm, I'm sorry, shuts out Holden, 40 to nothing. Rogersville defeats Hollister. Jefferson over Perryville, 20 to 7. Pembroke Hill over Hogan Prep, 21 to 6. Cardinal Ritter defeats Borgia. 59 to nothing. Stratford over Fair Grove. Warsaw over El Dorado Springs. Willow Spring, uh, Warsaw over El Dorado Springs. Willow Springs over Salem. Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks brings you page four. Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks sponsoring our Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athletes of the Week. And you can go to Missouri Sports Network on YouTube and Facebook and see each athlete throughout the season who has been interviewed, and we may play uh, one or two of those here this evening. On page four, it's Roosevelt over to Berg, 52 to 36. Lutheran South defeats Westminster Christian, 42 to 28. Maryville over Benton, 55 to 13. Mexico over Fulton, 54 to 7. Marshall defeats Moberly. 17-7, Seventeen to seven, Marshall's first win. And when you think about Marshall, you think about our names, hometown. Uh, they got a win. Now he needs to get a win. You know, before you put your head on the pillow tonight, put your knees on the floor, and just toss one up for for our names. Uh, really struggling with West Nile virus. He's in. KU Medical Center right now is in in the greatest of hands. But he can still use your prayers. Gradually making progress. Um, Unfortunately, caught some type of infection. uh, And they believe it may be pneumonia, but they won't know the results of that until Sunday. So thoughts and prayers to Ardane's and Ardane's family. Son Chris, his daughter Kathleen, his wife Lisa. I know they're by his side 24 7. But thoughts and prayers to our age and his family. Elsewhere, it was Pleasant Hill over Oak Grove 42 7. St. Clair defeats St. James 34 6. St. Genevieve over Potosi 26 12. Labor's Local 663 brings you page 5. Labor's Local 663, Building Missouri. Camdenton over Bolivar, 56 to 14, and those are conference action. Camdenton remains undefeated, as is Lebanon, uh, undefeated as they defeated Wendell oh, tonight. Grandview over Excelsior Springs, 31 to 20. Washington shuts out Fort Zumwalt East, 45 nothing. It was center over Harrisonville, 55 to 21. <laughs> Kickapoo defeats West Plains. Good win for Kickapoo Chiefs. 21-6 over West Plains. Hannibal over Kirksville, 45-25. Holt shuts out North Point, 52-7. St. Mary's over St. Dominic, 49-10. Union defeats Warrington, 55-14. Waynesville over 
Hillcrest. Silo Ridge Golf and Country brings you page six. Silo Ridge Golf and Country in Bolivar, Missouri for an outstanding golfing adventure. Join Silo Ridge Golf and Country. Swimming pool and all the amenities, although the pool is probably shut down by now. It's getting down into the upper 40s at night. But here on page six, it's Carthage over Ozark, 49 to 7. Central defeats Lighthouse Christian, 35 to nothing. It was Fort Osage over St. Joe Central, 56 to 14. Melville defeats Webster Groves, 29 to nothing. Eureka over Pattonville, 34 to 7. Seckman defeats Parkway South, 50 to 6. Bank of Billings. Bank of Billings established 1889. The oldest bank in Christian County brings you page 7. CBC over Chattered, Indiana, 55 to 24. Lee Summit West defeats Blue Springs South, 10 to 7. Lindbergh over Rittenauer, 19 to 14. Rockhurst. Defeats St. Thomas Aquinas, 32 to 11, and DeSmet over SLU, 37 to 20. Great Southern Bank, Great Southern Bank with more than 100 locations in six states. They care as much about your money as you do. Great Southern Bank, member FDIC. Enter Saturday games. Southeast at KC Central. Father Tolton is at Donovan. Well, that's a drive. Francis Howell is at Fort Sumalt West. Lift for Life is at Gateway. Clayton is at Hazelwood East. Hazelwood Central is at Hazelwood West. Parkway Central is at McClure North. Lutheran North is at MICDS. John Burroughs is at Priory. Normandy is at Riverview Gardens. Confluence Prep is at Soldan. Bayless is at St. Vincent. Kabul is at Thayer. Those are your dope propane Saturday games and scoreboard here on the Missouri Sports Network. You can see all the scores at scoreboardguy.net. They'll be updated throughout the evening, and they are being updated right now. Check out some other scores. Interested to see if that Bo Butler game has gone on final yet. Lamar 54, McDonald County 14. Marionville defeats Pierce City 62 to 21. And we're not going to be joined by Maryville head football coach Matt Webb. Coach Webb, welcome to the show. Thanks, guy. How are you? I am doing well, coach. And, uh, you know, I tell you what, you guys get a big win tonight uh, over St. Joe Bent. And tell us a little bit about the, uh, about the game tonight. Yeah, I thought it was, um, you know, I thought we really executed, you know, well in all three phases. Um, uh, Bitten actually came out and kind of threw a deep pass on us in the first quarter and um, was, uh, you know, up 7 nothing, and then we were able to kind of, you know, answer back and, and, and get a, a comfortable lead at halftime and, and score a 55 unanswered. So I thought we really settled in and, and – um, you know, did a good job in, in all three phases on, on offense and, and defense. And then in special teams, we're doing some really good things, too. Visiting with uh, Maryville's Bufounds head football coach, Matt Webb. And 55-13 to 13 is the final there. Tell us about some of the players that really had good nights. Well, you know, it, it was uh, our, our quarterback, Derek Quinlan, um, continues to, to really, you know, do a great job executing our offense. Um, you know, there's – uh, I don't know, you know, statistics, I haven't seen him yet, but, you know, he's he, he's certainly, you know, taking care of the football and, and making the right reads and decisions in our pass game. And then um, we're able to run the ball. You know, he's, he's able to kind of get us in a lot of our run checks. And um, he's just a junior and, and having a really good year for us up here. And um, he, he's, we're able to kind of take what the defense has given us. You know, there's a play tonight that I thought was really good. It was fourth and 21, I think. And we were on like the 30 yard line going in. It's kind of one of those where it's too far for a field goal, but too close to, you know, not, you know, punt it. And, and yeah, I thought, and they were in some shell coverage really deep. And, and what he did great was he, he kind of took what the defense give, gave us, gave us and completed a shorter route to Wyatt Garner. 
um, underneath, and then Wyatt was able to kind of use his athleticism and, and score a touchdown on it. And it's not one of those things that you kind of draw up that way, but um, Derek's just just doing a really good job of, of taking what the defense gives them, executing you know what our offensive coaches are asking them to do. Coach, big question. You know, of course, we're over halfway through the season, just you know, almost two thirds of the way through the season here in, in week six, and I know there's bumps and bruises and and things like that that everyone deals with at this point. But are you relatively healthy at this time of the season? Yeah, we're healthy. You know, we've been, um, you know, fortunate in that regard. And, you know, like you said, there's bumps and bruises and stuff like that. But, you know, I, our, our kids do, do a good job of kind of, you know, going to our athletic trainer and taking care of those little bumps and bruises that don't turn into something big that affects the way you play. And, um, you know, we've been fortunate, like I said, on, on, on the injuries. and. Um, you know, we just knock on wood. So I wish you wouldn't ask me because I got I don't have any wood around me right now to knock on. But if you heard me banging on something, I'd, I'd knock on something because you certainly don't want injuries. But um, yeah, we're healthy. Could you talk a little bit about about your conference? Uh, where do you, where are the standings right now, and and what's the outlook, and and what have you got coming up next week? Well, we we you know the MEC, you know it. There was kind of a you know we oh. Uh, there's three three teams that have one loss, I believe, in in conference play, and, and you know that's that's us, St. Pius, and, and Chillicothe. Um, Chillicothe had a big win last week against St. Pius, and um, and then Savannah has no losses. So um, you know it's one of those deals where it's going to come down to kind of these end of the end of the regular season with our conference, and and really you know it, it, it's interesting this year with us being class three and. And Lafayette being class three as well, our, our entire district, class three district, district eight is, is our conference. So it's going to come down to some tiebreakers and who beat who. And, you know, I know Savannah finishes, I believe, with Chillicothe, us, and then St. Pius to finish the regular season. So um, you know, they may have no losses now, but, you know, I think it's kind of still open for anybody's, anybody wants to take it. Now for us next week, we, we go out of conference, we go and play uh, Luther North. Um, we're playing that game halfway on a Saturday afternoon in Macon at one o'clock. Um, certainly, you know, great competition and one of those, uh, you, you know, when you when you look for schedules and you look at out-of-conference schedules, um, I wouldn't call Luther North first and say, yeah, we'll come play when you look at their athleticism, and, um, you know, what they're able to do. But um, it's a great, great challenge. It's going to be a great opportunity. You know, our, our conference, out of conference, we play Blair Oaks and we play Harrisonville and then um, and then Luther North. And so we like to give the kids some opportunities to play somebody different, play some really good competition. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a good time with it and play on Saturdays. You know, I always like playing on Saturdays. We say, we say that's when the big boys get to play. And that usually means you're playing a quarterfinal or a semifinal because those are Saturday afternoons. And um, But this one gets to be midseason. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. A great opportunity against a really good football team. How does that change playing on Saturday? How does that change your prep? I mean, do you do, you do things different, obviously, during the week? Well, yeah, I, I think of when you when I think back of my days as a college coach for NCAA, you've got a you know it's a mandatory kind of day off. Uh, right? And you have to get off day. And, you know, this is not necessarily that way, but um, you know we we're going to give the kids a day off and just bump everything back a day. You know we. We certainly don't get any like comp pay for teachers or anything like that. You don't get an overtime day to, to go work on a Saturday and drive two and a half hours and, and spend your Saturday, you know, working. But um, we're going to give everybody an off day this week and, and just push everything back um, and uh, treat like a, a Tuesday, like a Wednesday and Wednesday, like a, a Tuesday. And, you know, just kind of move everything back a day and go get up and have a good breakfast, go over and play football against a really good football team. Very good. Well, Coach Webb, as, as always, I greatly appreciate you being generous with your time and uh, had a good time. Drove up to uh, Maryville here at the, right at the beginning of the fall season and met, and met a lot of your members of your coaching staff and really enjoyed it. And, uh, of course, you've always been generous uh, with, with the Scoreboard Guy Network and the Missouri Sports Network, I should say, and at this point. But, Coach Webb, thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way, and hopefully we'll get to visit with you again down the road. Thanks, guy. I'm always impressed with what you guys do down there, and, and the expanded coverage into covering the state is is awesome. You know, I think the more the more we can shed light on high school athletes and high school football Friday night lights or Saturday afternoon lights, however you want to say it, um, is something we're all really proud of. You guys do a great job.
Hey, thank you so much. Couldn't do it without you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. you bet. Have a good evening. Coach Matt Webb joining us from Maryville. They get a 55-13 to 13, uh, victory uh, over Benton. We'll reach out to some other coaches here quickly, but first we'll hear a word from Chip Dealers of the Ozark. Well, I said that, and it's not there. So let's just let's roll with some pizza right here. After a long day, a few simple words can make everything better. Pizza's here. To end your day the right way, count on the carryout and delivery experts at your local pizza ranch. Mm -mm. Hey, welcome back. To the Missouri Sports Network, certainly glad that you have tuned in and can't wait to, to visit with you here as we go forward. Um, it's an outstanding evening of, of high school football. I still don't, I have not seen that final yet for the game in overtime between Butler and Buffalo. We'll keep checking on that as we go through here. And let's see if we can find it. And I apologize for stuttering and stammering here. We're trying to check on a bunch of scores and text coaches all at the same time. But we will figure it out as we roll on here. Just about uh, a little over halfway through the show right now. Coming up with more and more as they become available. We'll just run through what we have right now. We're waiting to hear from... Andy Lehrman, Luther North head football coach, is going to be joining us here, I believe, in just a couple of minutes. We've also reached out to Nate Thomas. Nate Thomas with Kickapoos. They get a big win. Trying to cover the entire state. Uh, it's Seneca over Reed Springs, 63-49. to 49. Seneca, this was the game of the night. Uh, Seneca led 24 to, or 27-14 to 14 at halftime. Reed Springs started the half with two straight touchdowns following onside kicks. Um, it was 42 all with 130 left in the third quarter and then 49 all uh, in the fourth quarter. But Seneca comes out on top 63 to 10. It was Nixa over Carl Junction 56 to 8. Lebanon shuts out Glendale 42 to nothing. Lamar over McDonald County. Uh, 54 to 14. Marionville defeats Pierce City, 62 to 21. Webb City over Willard, 49 to 28. Joplin defeats Republic, 42 to 28. Camdenton over Bolivar, 56 to 14. Bear Shore with 275 yards and six touchdowns in that contest as Camdenton improves to six and zero overall. Camp Duran added six catches for 115 yards and three touchdowns. For Camdenton, <coughs> it was Lincoln over Slater, forty-six to nothing. Nevada defeats Cassville, sixty-two to seven. Cole Camp over Crestridge, fifty-five to thirty-two. Mountain View Liberty, ranked number nine in Class Two, they defeat Mountain Grove, twenty-seven to thirteen. And Kickapoo over West Plains, twenty-one to six. Neosho defeats Branson. 50 to 31. Neosho improves to three and three overall. Behind an offense that's averaging 43.3 points per contest. We welcome to the show now. Welcome to the show, Coach Andy Learman, head coach for Liberty North. Coach Learman, thanks so much for joining us. You bet, sir. How you doing? We are doing good, Coach. Tell us a little bit about your contest tonight. Yeah, we took on Blue Springs. Uh, up here at Liberty North, it was homecoming night, and uh, ended up having a pretty good night. We uh, we won thirty five to ten, um, and uh, pretty much controlled the game for the most part throughout the course of the game. Had some uh, had some big plays by our offense, and our defense stepped up again this week and played really well. So we're extremely happy. And coach, we visited earlier in the week, and being a homecoming week, you you kind of uh, a lot of times you're a little bit nervous about how the young men are going to react. But it sounds like uh, <laughs> yeah. everybody kind of. Uh, kept their their nose in the right direction tonight. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, I was a little bit I was a little bit worked up early on in the game. We gave up a double pass, and uh, 
we talked about that all week and we still gave it up. And so we've had a little trouble with uh, trick plays here this year. It seems what teams like are going to to try to get some offense going against us. And so we've been trying to focus on that. Um, but overall, um, I thought our kids came out and did a really good job. Yeah, you know, and again, visiting with uh, coach, head coach Luther North, Andy Lerman. Coach Lerman, you know, at this time we talked about it, you know, earlier this week, you know, bumps and bruises, everyone's going to have those. Did you come out of tonight relatively healthy? Yeah, pretty good tonight. We had a couple kids, uh, a little bit of a banged up, but nothing too serious. Um, again, we're still trying. we got a couple guys that did not play tonight that we're, uh, we're hoping to get back in the next couple weeks. So we're still scratching and crawling, clawing, trying to kind of get those guys back on the field and, and keep everybody healthy as, as we go. You know, our suburban conference we play in, it's kind of a meat grinder. And so you're just trying to kind of figure out a way to get healthy by the end of the year to be able to compete. So we're, we're trying to get there. Coach, talk a little bit about uh, what you got coming up next week. I know you need to enjoy this right now, but uh, as you look forward to next week, what's, what's the challenges in front of you? Yeah, so we, we play a, a kind of an upstart team in, in Blue Spring South. Uh, I think they're four and two now. They won tonight, 10 to seven over Lee Summit West. Uh, and, um, you know, they've got a new coaching staff. And so uh, they're kind of finding their way a little bit, but they seem to air it out quite a bit, throw the ball around a lot. And the, the score tonight seems unusual. I'm not real sure what happened there, but they've been scoring a lot of points lately. So um, it'll be interesting. It's going to be another style matchup for us again. It's a little bit different. You know, we feel like we have a, a, a very good defense and uh, they've got a very good offense. So uh, we'll have to be prepared for that. They've got a great quarterback who's throwing the ball around everywhere. And, um, we're just going to have to kind of continue to do what we do. Uh, which is play great defense, great special teams, and our offense has really started to kind of come around. So, you know, we're super excited about the direction we're headed and how our kids are playing. And, uh, just trying to kind of keep our keep our eyes on the prize each each game uh, one at a time. So we're excited. Absolutely, and I, I owe you an apology, I think, because I just got a text. I think I, I said Lutheran North instead of Liberty no, North. So no, that's all right. No problem. <laughs> My my apologies there, but coach, I I I, uh, I greatly appreciate you being part of the show tonight, and uh, best of luck as you go forward, and and hopefully we'll get to visit again, and and just kind of keep it rolling, coach. You've got it, you've got it rolling right now. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, and it's fun to be a part of your show, and and uh, I'm excited to continue kind of continue that. And yes, sir, we're going to do our best to kind of keep keep cranking along. You bet, you bet. Thanks, right. coach Lerman. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. God bless. Bye bye, coach Andy Lerman from Liberty North. And I apologize if I refer to as Lutheran North because we were uh, we were talking Lutheran North uh, with uh, Coach Webb uh, just to, from Maryville just uh, previous to that. So my apologies to uh, to Coach Learman there. Liberty North, Class Six, number one ranked team in the state of Missouri, and they're going to be a handful uh, as we go forward here. Thank you. Quick timeout. We'll play a little Chevy of the Ozarks um, commercial, and we'll be back after these messages from Chevrolet and Pizza Ranch. Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective, and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Chevrolet. After a long day, a few simple words can make everything better. Pizza's here! To end your day the right way, count on the carryout and delivery experts at your local pizza ranch. Mm -mm. Welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network here at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Certainly glad that you have tuned in and as always the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up it's three seconds that could save your life be safe be smart and be here tomorrow we're in the Pizza Ranch studio here we're an hour into the show and we greatly appreciate coach Matt Webb of the Maryville Spoof Hounds being part of the show as well as coach Andy Learman from Liberty North and I said it right that time but then and, and coach Learman uh, if, you're, if you're still listening, I apologize for that. We'll run through the scores here as we have in at this time. Here and go scoreboardguy.net and refresh the pages here. They're continually adding scores here throughout the evening. And we'll go back up to page one, which is eight man football in the state of Missouri. Here on page one, and the finals that we have at this time. And the 
Webb Norborn over College Heights, 52 to 46. Jasper defeats Greenfield, 50 to 22. A little bit with Anthony Crane of of Mo Eight Man Football earlier today. There's a lot more eight man teams come heading this way. Um, as mostly that was a, a Northwest Missouri type uh, atmosphere there. But elsewhere in eight man football, Lockwood over Liberal, fifty one to fourteen. Jasper over Greenfield, fifty to twenty two. Apple City beats Osceola, fifty six to twelve. Starkey over Mound City. 60 to 6. Not away hold over DeKalb, 70 to 34. North Andrew defeats Stanberry, 54 to 6. North Shelby over Keatsville, 78 to 12. North La Christian over Veritas Christian out of Kansas, 60 to 20. St. Paul Lutheran over Santa Fe, 50 to 6. Albany defeats St. Joe Christian, 64 to nothing. It was Worth County over Knox County. 76-24, 76 to 24. Central Bank of the Ozarks brings you page two. Central Bank of the Ozarks, strong roots, endless possibilities. Bowling Green over South Callaway, 69 to 14. Principia over Brentwood, or Brentwood over Principia, 8 to 7. Buffalo in overtime defeats Buff Butler, 50 to 44. Dexter over Carothersville, 38 to 20. Cold Camp over Crestridge, 55 to 32. St. Pius the 10th over Cuba, 56 to or 58 to 6. Duchesne over Jennings, 54 to nothing. Lawson over Plattsburgh, 47 to 6. Macon defeats Brookfield, 53 to 20. Mark Twain over Louisiana, 38 to 14. Gallatin over Milan, 41 to 10. Monroe City over Palmyra, 50 to nothing. North Callaway defeats Van Farr, 36 to 16. Mid Buchanan over North Platte, 48 to 28. Penny over Lathrop, 36 to 7. Trenton defeats Polo, 24 to 6. Putnam County over South Harrison, 55 to 14. Russellville defeats Crystal City, 38 to 36. Marceline over Salisbury, 36 to 32. Scott City defeats Kelly, 42 to nothing. Windsor over Tipton, 28 to 21. West Strand defeats Scotland County, 38 to nothing. <coughs> Pizza Ranch. Pizza Ranch brings you page three. And Pizza Ranch, they host the quarterback club, and we're about to take that on the road. We will be doing quarterback clubs in, in the St. Louis area at Wentzville. We'll also be doing from this coming week at, for one, this coming week up at St. Joe, bring in the GRC and maybe some MEC teams, uh, such as Savannah. We talked about Savannah just a little bit earlier uh, with Matt Webb and bring in maybe some eight-man football uh, coach head coaches there as well out of the GRC. Um and but Pizza Ranch locations in St. Joe Independence, uh, Maryville. Mentioned that with Coach Webb did go to Maryville um, about six weeks ago, well, probably eight weeks ago. Went up and met the coaching staff from several of the schools around there. And Pizza Ranch was kind enough to pick up the tab for for the coaches. Came in, we visited a little bit and talked a little bit about what was going on, but. Maryville, St. Joe, Independence, obviously Springfield, Branson, Joplin, Wentzville, and coming soon to Jeff City. Pizza Ranch, page three. Houston over Ava, 12 to 6. It was Blair Oaks over Versailles, 65 to 6. Boonville defeats California, 28 to 12. Centralia over Clark County, 28 to 18. Skyline defeats Clever. 44-7. 44-7. Sullivan over Herman, 6 nothing. Lafayette County over Holden, 40 to nothing. Jefferson over Perryville, 20-7. New Madrid Central over Kennett, 60-28. to 
the Kennett team, I believe, came in undefeated. Mountain View Liberty defeats Mountain Grove. It was Lamar over McDonald County, 54-14. to Embrook Hill over Hogan Prep, 21-6. to Seneca defeats Reed Springs, 63-49. to Cardinal Ritter shuts out Borgia, 59 to nothing. Roosevelt over DeBerg, 52-36. to Fredericktown. Beats DeSoto 21-14. Lutheran South over Westminster Christian 42-28. Marshfield over Aurora. Uh, Maryville defeats Benton 55-13. Mexico over Fulton 54-7. Marshall over Moberly. Marshall over Moberly 17-7. Nevada over Cassville, 62-7. to Owensville defeats Pacific, 22-12. to Pleasant Hill over Oak Grove, 42-7. to Seneca defeats Reed Spring in a crazy one, 63-49. to St. Clair over St. James, 34-6. to St. Genevieve over Potosi, 26-12. to Valley Catholic defeats Park Hill Central, 40-30. to Willow Springs over Salem. Labor's Local 663 brings you page five. Labor's Local 663 building, Missouri. Camdenton over Bolivar, 56 to 14. Nixa over Carl Junction. Grandview defeats Excelsior Springs, 31 to 20. Washington over Fort Sumald East, 45 nothing. Center defeats Harris, Harrisonville, 55 to 21. Kickapoo over West Plains. 21 to 6. Hannibal defeats Kirksville, 45 to 25. Holt over North Point, 52 to nothing. Smithville shuts out Raytown South, 49 nothing. St. Mary's over St. Dominic, 49 to 10. Union over Warrington, 55 to 14. Hillsborough defeats Windsor, 67 to 13, bringing you page six. Silo Ridge Golf and Country. Carthage over Ozark 49 to 7. Central defeats Lighthouse Christian 35 0. Fort Osage over Central St. Joe 56 to 14. Fort Sumalt South 31. Liberty 14. Joplin defeats Republic. Lebanon shuts out Glendale 42 0. Melville over Webster Groves 29 to nothing. Oakville over Northwest 62 to 7. Parkway North defeats Parkway West 40, 40 to 35. Eureka over Pattonville 34 to 7. Shackman defeats Parkway South 50 to 6. And Webb City defeats Willard 49 to 28. The Bank of Billings established in 1889, the oldest bank in Christian County with locations in Billings and Marionville to better serve your banking needs. Page 7, CBC over Chattered, Indiana, 55-24. to Lee Summit West defeats Blue Springs South, 10-7. to Staley over Liberty, 26-24. to Lee Summit North over Raypeck, 47-7. Lindbergh defeats Rittenauer, 19-14. Rockhurst defeats St. Thomas Aquinas, 32-11. It's met over SLU, 37-20. Great Southern Bank. Great Southern Bank with more than 100 locations in six states. You care as much about your money as you do. Great Southern Bank, member FDIC. Saturday games, Southeast is at KC Central. Father Tolton is at Donovan. Francis Howell is at Fort Sumalt West. Lift for Life is at Gateway. Clayton is at Hazelwood East. Hazelwood Central is at Hazelwood West. Parkway Central is at McClure North. Lutheran North is at MICDS. John Burroughs is at Priory. Normandy is at Riverview Garden. Influence Prep is at Soldan. Bayless. Is at St. Vincent. Kabul is at there. <coughs> no propane. No propane for all your propane needs. Actually, if 
lit my pilot light in my fireplace today. Go, go propane provides us all of our propane for the barbecue grill, the fireplace, our rental properties. Uh, we need propane. Hey, see the folks at Doak. I'm going to check in on some just some district standings at at this time. You know, this is you know it's week six. You kind of start looking at those district those district standings. You know, just looking at you know we were talking with Coach Lehrman earlier about you know the district standings and a lot of those teams in his district be in his conference. So he'll we'll get to see a lot of them as well. Same way with Maryville. I think every every member of the Maryville's conference was in their district as well. But if you look at let's just look at Liberty North district, that class uh, six district four, Liberty North right now at five and zero. Oh. Uh, tonight's score obviously has not gotten in there at this point, but they sit atop that with forty six and a half points. Liberty. It's three and three, uh, and they've got 34.2 uh, points. Staley is four and two. They've got 32.7 points. Um, Blue Spring South is, is three and two, so they obviously haven't reported their score yet tonight, but they are in fourth place right now. So at this point, Liberty North would play Blue Springs. They just played tonight if the districts were to start today. And then Liberty would host Park Hill. Staley would host Park Hill South. And Blue Springs South would host Rockhurst. As you look at the other um, class six, go just take us just, just a second here to get through the other pages. If you look at class and district, you know, what we it's in class six, and we'll stay right there in class six. So district one, uh, we've got that's where Christian, that's where CB sets in the St. Louis area. When that in that class six district one district right now, Marquette is a top with forty two point one points. Uh, but they've just reported five games. Christian or CBC is five and one there at 42 points, so a close second. And then right behind them is Seckman, who is also five and one, but they haven't reported that score tonight. So they may move up in into second place, but they're sitting at 40.1 points. And then Kirkwood, Lindbergh, uh, SLU, Northwest Cedar Hill, and Viani is 0 and 5. So at this point, Marquette would host Viani, CBC would host Northwest Cedar Hill, Beckman would host Slew, and Kirkwood would host Lindbergh. Well, if you look at that uh, class six district two, which is also St. Louis. If you look at class two here, I'm sorry. District 2 in Class 6, right now, a lot of these scores have not been obviously reported. But Rockbridge is at the top of that at 4-1, and one, and their score from tonight has not been reported. And you've got Troy Buchanan at 4-2. and two. They're just a point behind. Rittenauer is 4-2, and two, and they're a point behind Troy Buchanan. Pattonville is 4-2, and two, and they're a point behind uh, Rittenauer. The Smet is three and three, and they're five points back of Pattville. Hazelwood Central two and three, and they're five points back. You've got Hickman at one and four, and Hazelwood West at zero and five. So Rockbridge would host Hazelwood West. Uh, Troy Buchanan would host Hickman. Rittenauer would host Hazelwood Central, Central and Pattonville would host the Smet. And then. Class six, District three. Got a lot of the, uh, all of the class six schools in Southwest Missouri are part of that with, with regards to Ozark, Nixa, Kickapoo, and Joplin. As you look at that district and how it stands, and I'm sure Nixa's at the top, and it is five and over. They're they're six and zero now. We've got a four point lead over Lee Summit North, and then Joplin is three. Kickapoo is number four. So Kickapoo at this point would get a home game 
And you got Ray Peck, Lee Summit, Lee Summit West, and Ozark rounded out. And if it were to end right now, it would be Nixa hosting Ozark. Lee Summit North hosting Lee Summit West. Joplin would host Lee Summit, and Kickapoo would host Ray Pet, Ray Moore Peculiar. Kickapoo wins tonight, so they will get additional points. Ray Peck has already reported their score. So Kickapoo, well, they can't jump Joplin. Um, Joplin also won. Um, but Kickapoo, will, they'll remain in fourth place, and they'll have a decent lead if they can win out. They may end up hosting. So just, just running through that. That's Class 6, District 3. There. Um, let's see here. It's 946. Or 1046. Good heaven. If it was 946, I would have really been going slow, slowly. Let's look at that Class 6, District 4. And that's up in the Kansas City area. And that'll be, you'll have, um, certain you would have uh, Lee North. I almost said it again. Lee North at the top of that, and you do. They're 6-0. and um, and Right now, it's, it's Liberty North. Liberty is number two at 3-3. Three and three. Staley is three, followed by Blue Springs South, Rockhurst, Park Hill South, Park Hill, and Blue Springs. So, if the season ended today, Liberty North would play who they played tonight. Blue Spring South, Liberty would host Park Hill. Staley would host Park Hill South, and Blue Spring South would host Rockhurst. We'll take a quick look here at Class 5, and then we'll run through the scores again here. In that Class District 1, that keep uh, Central Fox, Jackson, Melville, Oakville, Webster Groves, I believe, is in that as well. You look at the district here in class five district one Jackson is a top right now three and two is their record Oakville is in second eight Central Fox Melville Poplar Bluff and Webster Groves so you've got a 17 district so right now if it would end today you would have Oakville hosting Webster Groves Cape Central hosting hosting Poplar Bluff and Fox hosting Melville, Jackson would get a bye if, if that were the case. And we can go through these uh, maybe next week on the show or maybe we'll just cut a segment and we'll go from there. But just kind of updating for those of you just tuning in, late nights out there, it's 10 to 10 or, or 10 to 11 right now, We'll run through, we'll update the scores as we have them coming in now a little bit more frequently as we are still attempting to get the finals. Now, you know, it's we're talking about 200 football games. So you got to cut us a little bit of slack here at the Missouri Sports Network where everyone has a home field advantage. Chef dealers of the Ozarks, Wix, Week 6 High School Football Scoreboard presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks. Propane, Great Southern Bank, 663. My page just left me. <laughs> the Bank of Billings and live from the Pizza Ranch studio. Here on page one, eight man football was Appleton City over Osceola. Norburn defeats College Heights, 52 to 46. Jasper over Greenfield, 50 to 22. Archeo defeats Mound City, 60 to 6. Nottaway Holt over DeKalb, 70 to 34. North Andrew defeats Stanbury, 54 to 6. North Shelby over Keatsville, 78 to 12. It's Northland Christian over Veritas Christian out of Kansas, 60 to 20. Northwest over Concordia, 46 to 20. St. Paul Lutheran over Santa Fe, 50 to 6. Albany over St. Joe Christian, uh, 64 to nothing. It was Worth County over Knox County, uh, 76 to 24. Bowling Green 
defeat South Callaway 69 to 14. It was Brentwood over Principia 8 to 7. And in overtime, Buffalo defeats Butler 50 to 44. Dexter over Carothersville 38 to 20. It was Cole Camp over Crestridge 55 32. St. Pius the 10th defeats Cuba 58 to 6. Duchesne over Jennings 54 to nothing. South Shelby defeats Highland 52 to 12. Lawson over Plattsburgh 47 to 6. Macon over Brookfield 53 to 20. Mark Twain defeats Louisiana. 38 to 14. Gallatin over Milan, 41 to 10. Monroe City over Palmyra, 50 to nothing. It was North Callaway over Van Fair and Far, 36 to 16. It's getting late, folks. It was Mid Buchanan over North Platte, 48 to 28. Penny defeats Lathrop, 36 to 7. Trenton over Polo, 24 to 6. Putnam County over South Harrison, 55 to 14. Richmond over Carrollton, 64 to nothing. Russellville defeats Crystal City, 38 to 36. (coughs) Excuse me. Marceline. Marceline over Salisbury, 36 to 32. Scott City defeats Kelly, 42 to nothing. Sherwood over Stockton, 28 to 21. Windsor defeats Tipton, 28 to 21. Wellington Napoleon shuts out Lone Jack 54 to nothing. Western over Scott County, Scotland County, 38 to nothing. Pizza Ranch brings us page three. Pizza Ranch, home of the quarterback club. Page three, Houston over Ava, 12 6. Blair Oaks over Versailles, 65 to 6. Boonville over California, 28 to 12. Centralia defeats Clark County, 28 to 18. Skyline over Clever, 44 to 7. Sullivan over Herman, 6 0. Lafayette County, excuse me, Lafayette County over Holden, 40 to nothing. Logan Rogersville defeats Hollister. Jefferson over Perryville, 20 to 7. New Madrid Central over Kennett, 60 to 28. Lamar over McDonald County, 54 to 14. Pembroke Hill defeats Hogan Prep, 21 to 6. Seneca and a wild one over Reed Spring, 63 to 49. Mount Vernon defeats Springfield Catholic, 42 to 7. Cardinal Ritter over Borgia, 59 to nothing. Warsaw defeats El Dorado Springs, 40 to 6. Roosevelt over Bishop de Berg, 452 to 36. Fredericktown, 21 to 14 over DeSoto. Lutheran South defeats Westminster Christian, 42 to 28. Marshfield over Aurora. Maryville defeats Benton, 55 to 13. Mexico over Fulton, 54 to 7. Marshall defeats Moberly. Need Thomas football. 17 to 7. And welcome to the show now. We welcome to the show now. Kickapoo Chiefs head coach Nate Thomas. Coach Thomas, hey, congratulations. Big win tonight for the Chiefs. Thank you, guy. Appreciate you having me on. Coach, uh, tell us a little bit about the game tonight. Uh, played a very good West Plains team, and Kickapoo comes out uh, on top. Uh, just super proud of our, our, our players and how they came out and responded. Um, you know, I think uh, our hats off to our defense. Coach Peterson put an unbelievable game plan together, and be able to hold uh, West Plains to a pair of field goals is is something special um, with the weapons that they have. Um, you know, in, in the Heston Miller and, and the Halford kid, and, and I mean that's a that's a really really good offense. Um, and it's very very hard to defend. So uh, our kids bought into our game plan and was really proud of them. Uh, they plays on offense and uh, was able to ride it out and get a victory tonight. So really proud of our program. 21-6 is the final there. And you're talking about a West Plains team that, you know, now this game puts you guys in the mix really for, a, you know, you still got a shot at conference. Uh, your kids have got to yep. be excited about that. They were fired up. 
Um, you know, we, we talked about it all week that this was going to be a, a big challenge for them, and, and we wanted to be able to answer the bell for sure. Um, you know, we, we picked up a couple goal line stands down there, uh, there at the end of the first half, and then to finish the game uh, from the one, uh, those, those guys on defense did an unbelievable job. And then offensively, um, you know, Kyler Mavens did a great job of distributing the ball. I don't know if you've seen the video, but um, Sean Campbell made the most amazing high school football catch I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, you know, Chase Cruz made a catch four years ago against Glendale that I thought was the best catch that I'd ever seen. And Sean Campbell went up on a post and uh, just shades of Odell Beckham Jr. up with one hand, stabbed it out of the air, draped had defender draped over him. It was, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, outstanding. Well, coach, you, you're able to put 21 points up, but uh, really, I'm just you have you've got to be impressed to keep them out of the keep West Plains out of the end zone. That may be maybe the first time in four or five years that they've been they've been not allowed in the end zone. Yeah, uh, well, like I said, they've got a lot of weapons, uh, and Heston Miller being at the top of the list, he, he's one of the fastest high school football players that I've ever seen on film. And, you know, I was just proud of our kids. We talked all week about being able to rally to the football and it was going to come down to 11 guys running to the football when he had it. And, uh, you know, we, we talked shoulder leverage and, and keeping him inside and in front all week. And, you know, I think I, our guys did a tremendous job of it all week. He got loose one time um, and I was scared to death because he got behind us and we were able to get to the quarterback luckily before he could set his feet and, um, just did a, a great job of holding them in check for sure on offense. And a big question here, you, you know, you're two thirds, almost two thirds of the way through the regular season. Uh, you know, all those bumps and bruises and scrapes and cuts, but are you relatively healthy after this game? We are, uh, we've lost, we lost one last week, uh, to, uh, he tweaked his groin, um, probably could have played tonight, uh, but we didn't want to risk it. Uh, one of our inside linebackers. So. We moved Jackson Young inside for the first time he's ever played inside linebacker. Um, and I know uh, Pitt State's recruiting him to come play inside linebacker for him. Um, and he did a great job tonight for, for his first game. Uh, we moved one of our juniors that plays <clears throat> outside linebacker for us, moved him out there. And um, like I said, for the for the most part, we're relatively – for being week set, heading into week seven, um, we're, we're healthy right now, which is which is huge. Got to enjoy this one tonight, but what what are the challenges in front of you for for next Friday? You know, I think you know Rolla brings a whole different, uh, you know, a whole different offense to the table next week. Uh, we're, we kind of flip back to the other end of the spectrum. You know, West Plains was spread you out and and uh, make you defend out in space, and now we're heading back to more of an option, double tight, uh, try to run it right that right at your face. Um, you know, it, it, it's just like every week in this conference. You've got to you've got to prepare the right way, and you've got to earn the right to go play well on Friday nights. And, um, you know, it's like I talked to our guys tonight. The the fact that we get to practice offensively against our defense every day, that it makes us a heck of a lot better offense. Same thing, defense practicing against the guys that we have out on the edge. So, you know, I'm a firm believer in iron sharpens iron. So. Um, I know we turn into road warriors here for these next three weeks. Uh, we got three away games against three quality opponents. So um, we're going to take it one, one game at a time. And, and, uh, and right now the focus is on Rolla for sure. You bet. Well, Coach, uh, certainly appreciate you being generous with your time. I know you've got a lot going on. And uh, well, congratulations on, on, a, on a huge win for, for the Chiefs there at Kickapoo. Go celebrate this one and, and uh, we'll get one next week and, and we'll talk to you again. I appreciate it, guy. Thank you. You bet. Hey, Thomas, kicking through Chiefs uh, head coach. They're kind enough to join us, and they get a big win, twenty-one to six over West Plains. And you, know, you, you look back earlier in the season, uh, you know they had a chance for to beat Campton uh, in that game, and that, that would put them right in the hunt uh, right now. But uh, nonetheless, Kickapoo it improves, and they go to twenty-one and six on the season. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 11 o'clock, and I'm certainly glad you tuned in, tuned, tuned in tonight, and, and I apologize, again, apologize to Coach Learman if I if I made the reference to Lutheran North, but uh, honest mistake, but uh, 
We greatly appreciate Coach Nate Thomas from Kickapoo being part of the show. Coach Andy Learman from uh, Luth. I almost did it again. From Liberty North and Matt Webb from Maryville uh, for, for joining the show. And we've upgraded our equipment here. We haven't upgraded it. We upgraded a long time ago, but we just figured out how to use it. So we greatly appreciate the coaches calling in and greatly appreciate you tuning in to the Missouri Sports Network. The Missouri Sports Network, where everyone has a home field advantage. Good night and God bless.